Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Heat Press Nation Live. Now, this is not any episode. This is a very, very special episode of Heat Press Nation Live. I'm going to introduce my special guest in just a second. Now, for those of you guys uh, and girls and everybody who joined us last week, uh, I do want to apologize. We had an incredible program for you last week. Uh, unfortunately, due to some technical difficulties, uh, we just weren't able to, we didn't save, we weren't able to save the recording and, you know, certain things just didn't come through. Um, but I was, we, I say I, we were so excited about the content that we made. We actually had a really good time, me and my special guest who I'm going to introduce right now. Uh, we had a very good time talking about uh, white toner products and it was so good that we thought to ourselves, there's no way that this can just be lost. So we, we got him back. Uh, I'm very happy to introduce my friend, RJ Ricker from Creo. RJ, how are you doing today, man? Hey, how's it going, Jared? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Glad to be back uh, and excited to see if we can uh, we can get this one to, to work because as you said in the introduction, I mean, last week is amazing content. So excited to be back and thanks for having me. Yeah, dude, thank you so much for coming back. All right, so today, uh, for those of you guys who are tuning in, we are talking about white toner printer products. Uh, we have an amazing program coming up for you guys. RJ, he's going to explain his project that he's working on right now uh, in just a second. But before we get going, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you're watching on uh, YouTube, if you're on Facebook, like our page. And then don't just stop there. Head on over to Creo, like their Facebook page. Go follow them on YouTube. Of course, you can uh, check us out at heat.press slash live. I got my Creo 8432 right here. If you see on RJ's screen, he has his right there. He's also working with Signature Series. He's going to talk about that in a second. You can see all of these products today at heat.press slash live. Last thing I want to say, and you see he's already getting to work. RJ's wasting no time today. Last thing I want to say is you can text the word HEAT to 20198 and uh, get more text updates. You see it there on your screen. Text the word HEAT to 20198. Okay, RJ, what are you working on, man? I'm excited. All right. So... Uh, I got this job uh, sent to me for 10 t-shirts. Uh, the design that they sent to me was very intricate. It was something that uh, I don't think I could have really done very quickly using vinyl uh, because it has so many different colors. And the fact that it was only 10 t-shirts with so many different colors on it, you know, the local screen printer down the road could not, they did not want to do the job because they didn't want to, you know, set the job up and they, it was too much hassle uh, for them to actually do. So, you know, with that being said, I'm going to easily do it with my Creo 8432 printer here, uh, which is a white toner printer. With the Creo printers, you know, I, I'm sure we're going to talk about it, but, you know, it's 100% cotton navy t-shirts. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, sublimation, I couldn't do it. Um, so with the yeah. white toner printer, our, our biggest thing is, hey, any color, any fabric. So the fact that, you know, I can go on any, any color I want to and any fabric, I said, might as well. Let's use the Creo for this job. Uh, I believe. Do you have? Uh, do you have the file? I'll yeah, we do. Can we bring that up? Yeah, we have. Uh, Alex is going to put that that uh, graphic on screen right now. When you guys see this, you're going to see exactly why uh, we're not doing this in vinyl. This is an extremely detailed graphic. Um, just to just to weed I, just to weed it out. Honestly, would take at least like 45 minutes. And that's just right. one color. Exactly. So just the white. Oh, there we go. So you guys see how we have it. Uh, there's white. There's like a purple-y. Purple? purple? <laughs> I'm not great with colors. There's like fuchsia on there. We have some grays. We have at least five to seven colors on this graphic. And with vinyl, you have to cut and weed each and every one without exaggeration. If I had to do this in vinyl, uh, I'd be spending at least one to two hours. Like it's hard, it's hard to estimate. There's just so much detail on there. And uh, RJ, how long does this take to print? Like, <laughs> like so, not an hour, right? <laughs> right, not an hour. So what you see here is I'm actually, I just loaded in my RIP software, the design. Mm -hmm. uh, what I did inside of my RIP software was the file itself, you can see on the screen there, but it has uh, a black background. Uh, and one yeah. of the cool features within the RIP software is called Knock Me Out Black. Uh, and because I'm using my Creo 8432, I'm printing on 11 by 17 size paper, but the customer only wanted an eight by eight inch design. So what I did in my rip is I put two of them on one sheet 
Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to cut all my costs in half, uh, which is really cool. So you can see here that the print speed is going to be uh, very, very fast. So we're going to be able to full color print. I'll show it up to the camera here, but full color print about 16 to 20 prints per minute. So wow. the print speed is going to be very, very fast on this. Uh, and when we talk about toner, there's no smearing or anything mm -hmm. that you have to worry about with the transfer sheets. So it's, no just, it's just spitting them out. That's crazy. 100%. Just I mean, you know, at the end of the day, the, the printer is going to print so fast that uh, let's just say I had a couple other jobs I had to do today. I could do mm -hmm. all my printing in the morning and then do all my, you know, my production in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, because That's it does print so fast, I don't have to really babysit this printer. Uh, toner means no maintenance. So let's just say maybe this is like your side hustle mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not using the printer every day. So you go ahead and just turn the printer off like I just did. And you don't have to worry about anything clogging up the lines. Uh, I don't have to worry about running any maintenance cycle. Next week, if I have more t-shirts to make, I'll just turn the printer on and start printing. Pretty that's cool. incredible. That, that's such a different workflow than with like vinyl. See, with vinyl, to maximize your workflow, while one item is cutting, you're weeding it. And then when that, when that first one's done cutting, you load your next one. And then while that's cutting, you weed it. So you have to weed as you cut. Like, which right. is funny because with this one, you just print it all at once because there's no way you could process your, your you could press them as fast as it'll print. That's like lightning fast. I love it. So really yeah, quick, why don't you, you tell us? Uh, I'm sorry. Why don't you tell us what you're what you're working with? I, I don't. I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the beginning. Yeah. So, uh, we the paper that we decided to use for this example is going to be one of the more popular papers on the market. It's going to be Forever Laser Dark. And nice. what Forever Laser Dark is, it's a two paper process. So, you can see my two designs right here on my A film. And then what you can see me doing in the background here is the paper comes with a B sheet. And what this B sheet is, is gonna be my adhesive or my glue sheet. And so what I'm doing, and these are for the customers that do vinyl are gonna love me, is I'm gonna press these two together for 90 to 120 seconds and then peel them apart. And what that's doing is it's doing a, what we call self weeding and self cutting to mm -hmm. where all my adhesive is only sticking to my toner. So, you know, kind of what we were talking about at the beginning is that, you know, instead of doing vinyl and having to put it through a cutter and then, you know, get your utensil out and, and actually weed uh, the vinyl out, this is doing all of that for me. And it's only 90 to 120 seconds. So instead of wasting, not wasting, but, you know, weeding a design for maybe an hour, like you were saying, it just takes me a minute and a half to do. So yeah. that's how we're going to be able to uh, produce these t-shirts in a, in a speedy way. Um, yeah, so yeah that's all I'm doing right now. Yeah, for those of you guys who are just tuning in, right now RJ is doing a 10 t-shirt product project that he is starting live and he's going to be finishing live by the time this episode is done, which to me is really mind-blowing because to do 10 of anything, like that's not, that, for me, I would set aside maybe not a whole afternoon, but I would set aside a good chunk of my afternoon to knock out 10 t-shirts and RJ's doing this like while he's talking to me like I know he's a pro but at the same time like it, it's that easy like he's just able to just handle it right there so really quick we're by the way if you're just tuning in um you could see all these products at heat.press slash live I got my baby right here creo 8432wdt you see RJ's if you look on his screen you see he has one over there on the left and then on the right working with an HPN Signature Series 16 by 20 inch heat press. By the way, I do wanna let you know that I'm, I'm pulling up the comments right now, um, but we do have you guys here. I have all your comments right here. So if you're watching us live, do me a favor, any questions you have, feel free to just drop them in there. We are, I'm going through the comments right now. Let's see if we have any good questions. Oh, this is, see, this is a great question. And I see, oh, you know what? Who do you have on Creo? Creo White Toner is on it. But for those who are watching and not reading the comments, Ashley's asking, how well does this hold up? I believe referring to the transfers. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a great question. Definitely one of the more common questions that we get answered at trade shows online. Uh, you know, when you're using a two-step paper, 
uh, and you're doing it the correct way, you can always expect uh, that the the transfers are going to be pretty durable on the T-shirt. So you're going to be lasting upwards to 30 to 50 washes is what I like to say, and that's depending on how you're going to wash the garment. Mm -hmm. So if you talk to any of these paper manufacturers, they're always going to recommend putting the garment inside out, uh, you know, drying, putting in the wash machine uh, at a low heat or cold water and then drying on or either air drying uh, or doing a tumble dry low and if you're doing mm. those steps the t-shirts are all i mean they're gonna last for forever uh but if yeah. you're throwing it on hot water high heat uh normally especially like a cotton fabric the t-shirt starts to go before the transfer does and you'll start to see some cracking around those 25 to 30 washes uh but they're going to be durable i mean it's the industry standard is going to be that 30 washes and dries uh, and we're right there with that. Yeah, for sure. Now, I know part of, part of the longevity of the transfer depends on how you process it in the rip. You mentioned that you had knocked the blackout in the rip. Um, so I guess my question is, what exactly is the rip software? Um, sure. And why does the customer need it? Like, what benefits do you get exactly from processing your images through the uh, included rip software? Yeah, so the rip software is going to be a key part of, of you know, the printing process. And what a rip software is, it kind of tech, or it does, it takes the guessing game uh, out of when you're printing. So in our rip software, we have all the papers pre-profiled in there. So whether I'm using FAR, maybe I'm using Laser Light, the Magic Touch T1, Nina, Cold Enough paper, uh, whatever that might be, but all the papers are profiled in the rip to where all you gotta do is select the paper that you're using and you don't have to change any settings. All you gotta do is hit nice. print and then go ahead and print. Uh, and what the RIP software does is it actually saves you money. So it's gonna limit uh, the amount of white toner that you actually lay down, uh, which is very nice. So if you're just printing from the print driver, you know what the printer's gonna do is lay down a lot of, a lot of that white toner. Uh, mm -hmm. When you do print through the RIP software, it cuts that in about half, uh, which is gonna give you more prints in the long run, uh, which is just good for everybody. So. Uh, you know, normally a RIP software is going to cost, you know, about uh, $500 to $1,000. Uh, but yeah. the nice thing with Creo is that we are including a RIP software with every single printer. So it's not an extra cost to that end user. Uh, we know how important it is. So we were like, why would we charge the customer? Let's just give them the RIP software, make them be successful right out of the box. Yeah. And that's what I love about Creo, by the way, is that you get you get your stuff done right out of the box. A lot of customers ask like, okay, besides the printer, if I order my Creo, what else am I gonna need? And the honest answer is some paper and a heat press. Like, right. that's it. Like the Creo on its own comes with the toner. I love that it comes with a support tablet. So when you buy yes. a Creo printer, you get this little, it's not as big as this one. Um, this is like a massive, gigantic old one. Uh, you get this little support tablet and it comes preloaded with the support videos, so it shows you how to get started, how to plug in your printer, uh, how to get it set. Oh, there it is. He has it right there. Yep. You see that Creo support tablet? It comes preloaded with all the stuff you need, which for me, so when we first got this puppy in, I had the privilege of unboxing it, testing it out, make sure it works, because, you know, Creo, I believe we started carrying you guys, what, like last year, right? Was it last year? Yeah. Honestly, yeah, uh, August of last year is when we launched yeah. the Creo products. Yeah, I feel like in the pandemic, like it, the past two years have been a blur, so I don't really know. <laughs> 2020, 2021. Yeah. Anyways, so we got this puppy last year, right? And I got to unbox it and test it out. I had my first t-shirt in about an hour. Like it was that, like unboxing it, the whole experience uh, was just super easy. And yes, I, I do have experience heat pressing things, but having never used the Creo before having never used their rip software before because it's a different rip software than what i had originally trained on um having never used any of their products before having a solid t-shirt in less than an hour like just really speaks to the quality of of what they're doing over there Creo just really making the customer experience like number one and that's what i love about yeah. you guys over there at creo yeah 100 percent. i mean J jared is not lying so uh you know that he pressed edge were like, hey, can you send us a demo unit? We would love to, to start printing and, and pressing. Uh, you know, obviously we were a little bit hesitant because, you know, we, we like to get, you know, them trained up. Uh, and I knew Jared hadn't used it yet. So I was like, you know what? You know, us as Creo put together a lot of content 
for that end user to be successful. And so we kind of thought to ourselves, well, let's see, let's see if what we put together works. And, uh, you know, soon, or I guess next thing I know, I have an email from Jared that says, hey, check out the T-shirt I just made. And so, you know, he is not lying when he says he got the printer and within an hour he was already producing shirts. So it was really cool to see uh, that he was taking advantage of all that free support and training uh, that Creo offers and that it paid off and worked. Yeah, got you. So let me see here. I know I had another question for you on that. So I got, I got a note from our producer over here. Everything, we're going good. Um, oh, yes, that's one thing that I love. So talking about, sorry, we're on the subject of support. I have a little brain fart right now. One thing I love about Creo, again, is the two-year on-site support. RJ, can you talk to us a little bit about the, the two-year on-site support and like what that means for the end user? Yeah, so with the Creo White Toner printers, uh, as far as the warranty goes, you will get a two-year on-site warranty, which is going to be huge. So if, you know, you guys are, you know, customers investing a lot of money in us, you know, the, the, the printers mm -hmm. themselves are not cheap. And so it is nice to know as an end user that you get a two-year on-site warranty, meaning if the printer breaks, uh, especially a year or two down the road, you know, we can always deploy a technician to come on site, fix that issue, whatever it might be. Uh, we can either swap your printer out if we think it's an easy fix here in house and send you a new printer um, or send you a consumable if it was something simple as like a new fuser or whatnot. So knowing that, you know, when you're in, in Creo, Creo is also investing in you. Yeah. Man, and that's so and that's so huge, especially for a lot of businesses that are just getting started up. Maybe this is your first big purchase for your print shop and you don't want to be left out in the dark. Like you don't want to be left out in the cold when it comes time to like, hey, how do I do this again? Like, it's funny, like you, you purchase from other manufacturers, right. suppliers, you buy stuff secondhand. When you have an issue, who, who do you call? That's why I love how Creo supports the customer. Like, I really feel that like, um, and maybe you can tell us kind of how like Creo came to be, but like, I really feel like, like with the, with this new brand, like they really just like thought like from the customer's point of view, how can we change things? Like, how can we make this easier for the customer? Yeah, correct. So uh, for those of you familiar uh, with white toner technology, uh, our technology is Oki Data's technology. And so how Creo came about is that Oki decided to leave uh, the American market and uh, OEM the product. And they OEM the product uh, to Creo. And that's kind of how Creo came about. So we still have the same Oki Data technology, which is going to be the best technology um, out yes, there sir. as far as white owner goes but what like just like you said you know we created you know an end user centric brand where you know the when doing some market research and talking to some Oki customers their biggest thing was great product works well but right when I got the printer you know I didn't know what to do and so yeah. when we were creating the brand of Creo you know we thought of the end user uh, experience and so you know what Jared was telling you with the support tablet, you know, we give you videos to do right when you get the printer, how to unbox it, download the RIP software, download the driver, and to get printing. And on top of that, Creo actually does free RIP software training every single Tuesday, uh, which is awesome. So as a customer, uh, you know, obviously you're going to have your dealer like Heat Press Nation uh, available for all support questions or applications application questions, whatever need be, but knowing that Creo is also giving you free training on how to actually get up and printing, uh, which is really, really cool and, and kind of unheard of from the manufacturing uh, standpoint. So uh, just know that you have all three levels of support, you know, when investing in the Creo white toner printer. There and I don't go. know if so you can we... see Jared, but I'm on my fifth press so i'm about to be done nice. with all of my shirts so for those we have a couple people just tuning in here got a few different questions i guess i'm going to pitch at you but if you're just tuning in and you want to see what exact products we're working with i got mine right here we got twins i think these are cousins these printers are cousins uh we That's have right. the printers the heat press and more 
at heat.press slash live. And then you won't even lose the feed. We have the feed, I believe, uh, there as well. So you can go to heat.press slash live. You can see everything that we're working on here right now. RJ is right in the middle of a 10 t-shirt order. And he's we, he started it right as, as soon as we came online. And he's actually going to finish before this episode is over, which that's mind blowing to have 10 full color graphics uh, on t-shirts in, in that amount of time. So that's what we're working on today. That's our project. I got my pal RJ from Creo right here. We're talking, we're using the Creo 8432 WDT white toner laser printer. So if you guys have white toner laser questions, pop them in the comments. I'm going to go through some right now. I do see we have a few people just joined. So we got some fresh comments in here, fresh questions. Uh, Ronnie on my end, and I don't know who you have working on your end, but doggone, they are on it answering these questions. But a few of them we do want to take live on the air. Sweet. So that's really cool. Um, this is a good question. Charlotte saying, I missed the beginning. Do you have to swap out the white toner with the black? With the Creo 8432, uh, it's going to come with cyan, magenta, yellow, and white. It does not come with a black toner uh, because when we need to print black, you know, we normally are going, if we're going onto a darker substrate, in our RIP software, we'll go ahead and just pull the black out and use that, that substrate as our black. But if you do want a true black and maybe you're going on, you know, a lighter garment or a lighter substrate, yeah, you can absolutely swap out the white toner for the black toner, but it is not necessary. It's not something that you have to do. Nice. And then we have another question, I guess more of a recap. Callie is asking, what size are the prints? So I am printing on 11 by 17 print, uh, size uh, transfer paper, uh, but my logo is just above 8 by 8. So it's 8.2 by 8.2. So I was able to fit multiple uh, logos on my one sheet of paper. Nice. Okay, now, so you you mentioned that you're done. So what, uh, you mentioned you're done with the AB transfers, right? So what, what part of the uh, process are we at now? So now what I'm doing is I am taking my t-shirt. So 100% cotton, navy t-shirt, uh, no pre-treatment needed. So oh, now all I'm going to do is put my t-shirt on my heat press. Uh, I think we all, you know, if you're decorating garments, you're going to know this trick of just preheating the shirt to, de to get any moisture out. Mm -hmm. I would like to say it's a free iron. <laughs> and then from there, uh, those transfers I just cut out individually. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on, on the t-shirt. And then I'm going to press for 20 seconds. Same temperature. I'm at 300 degrees. Oh, yeah, that's another great thing about that. why I love Forever Laser Dark. It's the same temperature for the AB marriage as it is for the shirt press. So that's, that'll save you lots right. of time right there, not having to change your, your press settings. Yeah, and, and like you said, it's a low temp paper. Uh, and if, if we were going on 100% polyester paper or uh, T-shirts, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually lower the temperature. So if you can see behind me, actually, up on the wall, there's a balloon. Mm -hmm. We actually use this same uh, Forever Laser Dark to decorate a cotton shirt, as well as the balloon, my 100% polyester T-shirt. So it's a low temp paper to where the wow. adhesive, it still reacts at uh, 210 degrees. So you can go on those heat sensitive items where you don't want to burn the T-shirt or scorch anything. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's incredible. Wait, so that's a that's like one of those like foil, I think it's like Mylar or like, the little metally balloons, right? Yep, it's just a mylar balloon. Yep. Oh, okay. We're totally gonna rip off that idea. I gotta do the project with that, dude. That is so cool. Yeah, and uh, you know, kind of a part of that Creo experience. And when you buy a printer, you get access to our support website, which is called mycreo.com. And on my Creo, you will see a video of us decorating that uh, that balloon up there. Very easy to do. Uh, and it was pretty fun doing it. 
Oh, so you guys, uh, you guys already have a video? All right, I guess we won't rip you guys off after But all. it's only, it's only, <laughs> we keep it, we keep it, uh, you know, you know, for the Creo customer. So, you know, if you're someone, you know, off the street or want to see it, you know, you do not have access. So we really give oh, exclusive, exclusive content. content to our Creo customers. Oh, I like it. I like that a lot, actually. So now, I, I know we mentioned this before, but again, we have a few people kind of tuning in a little bit late. So you're pressing on to what kind of t-shirt? 100% cotton. Nice. And that's a navy, navy, navy right? t-shirt. Yes. Yep. So then you could press on any color t-shirt then, right? It shouldn't really matter, right? Yeah. With the Creo, we like to say any, uh, any color, any fabric. So everything from 100% nice. polyester to 100% cotton. And then everything from, you know, black to white and everything in between. So very versatile product. Um, you know, we, we're, you're not limited. It's one of the products you're not limited uh, to what you can decorate. Nice. And so I think we're on T-shirt number three or four, if I'm this counting one, right. Yep, I'm pressing three. Pressing three, uh, nice. Here, uh, these are all going to be a cold peel. So I'm just setting my T-shirts aside to let them cool down uh, while I finish pressing all my shirts. Nice. And you know, it's funny you mentioned that AC on YouTube is asking, is it a cold peel or a hot peel? And just to answer that, yep, these are a cold peel. Yep. Very, very uh, cool. I think the cold peel is really good just because I don't have to worry about these. Uh, I mean, I can peel these in the morning if I wanted to. So yeah. there's really no rush getting them off the t-shirt. Nice. Now this question, I feel like, you know, I'm gonna save this question. We have a question about how does the final finish feel? Is it thick like vinyl? But I feel like we should save that one for the end once, once they're done. That way we could show them on camera the Perfect. finished product. Perfect, we can do that. Oh, this is a great question. Ashley is asking, if the printer runs out of one color, do all colors need to be replaced like with some printers? No, that is, uh, now it's a great question. So uh, on our printers, it has a, um, it has four bars. So when it's full, it'll be four bars and then it goes one by one by one. So maybe you're using a lot of yellow mm -hmm. or whatnot. So the printer does a good job of just letting you know, Hey, you're at one bar of yellow. Uh, so probably about time for you to, you know, order another yellow, uh, but you do not need to order all of them. So if everything's at three yellow is at one bar, just order that yellow. By the time it's at zero, you'll probably have it. And then you're up and printing again. Um, so yeah, uh, once one goes out, you do not need to replace all of them to answer your question. Nice. Very cool. And you guys see here, RJ is just blasting through these t-shirts. Again, just kind of really speaks to the fact that like, if, you, if, if we take a moment to consider like different options, like for me, like, cause I have a side business, right? I do heat transfer vinyl and sublimation. Um, so if I had to take this job, and actually, Alex, can we bring up that, that graphic one more time just to show people kind of who are just tuning in what we're working on? Um, if I had to take this job, I wouldn't. <laughs> if somebody brought me this job and they said, hey, can I get this done in heat transfer vinyl? I would, I would politely tell them to go somewhere else because the detail on this, I'd be, I'd be spending at least bare minimum an hour and a half per shirt, which is not cost effective at all. And then with sublimation, I could do this graphic, but it would have to be on a white polyester shirt. RJ is pressing, um, he's pressing 100% cotton navy shirts. So that rolls out sublimation. And RJ, I know you have a little bit more experience than me when it comes to like screen printing. Like what would be a reason why a screen print shop wouldn't take this order? Yeah, uh, it's, it's just gonna be the setup cost. Um, you know, a screen printer would have to charge 50 or $60 per shirt to see any kind of, you know, return on investment. Uh, just because for a screen printer, you're gonna wanna do a hundreds of shirts, thousands of t-shirts, cause it takes you a long time and it's expensive to set the job up. So when you're doing a, you know, a 10 color job or for this, you know, six or seven colors, but I'm only wanting 10 t-shirts, for them, it's just, it's, it doesn't make sense to charge 25, $30 per shirt because it's gonna take and cost them too much money to set up. So that's why, you go yeah. to screen print shop, they normally have minimum quantity orders. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So like this, yeah. 
I feel like this is very unique in the sense, like, I don't think, like, there's another process out there that could get this job done in this amount of time at this price. Yeah, no, you're correct. I mean, you know, we want the customers coming to us with 16 different colors and they only want 10 t-shirts, something like that, because, you know, we know we can charge higher for that because no one mm -hmm. else is going to do the job. Um, and so that's why, you know, with the Creo printers, you know, it's, we're, we're talking about high, high margins uh, when you are doing the jobs and charging customers. Yeah, and then also with with the white toner laser printers, you do. It's not just the uh, like the CMYK that you could do. You guys have like hot. There's like hot stamping foils, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you, we can really produce any color we want because the fact that our foil will stick to our toner. So, uh, you know, we can do names and numbers, um, wow. and we can do really cool. Um, you know, intricate designs, but without having to, to cut and weed and still be able to do the foil look. So very cool, very fun uh, process. You know, when we do foil at trade shows, we definitely get a lot of customers that stop and, you know, whether they want the t-shirt or they just want to see how it works. So it's pretty cool. Dude, that is super cool. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive back into the comments here. We got any fresh questions? By the way, you guys, I am here with Industry Pro. RJ Rickert from Creo, he's showing off this really awesome process of what, using a white toner laser printer to fire off 10 t-shirts, and he's doing it all live. This is real time. So even if you're not watching this episode live, you're watching it at a later time, you can see his whole 10 shirt order. He's finishing it live on the air right now, which is like, to me, it's like a feat in itself. So uh, I know we had a question a little earlier. Will this be recorded? Uh, Paul Williams is asking, will this be recorded and able to watch later? I am currently busy to watch. Yes, 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 yes. So we are recording this one for everybody. I know I mentioned it at the top of the broadcast, but for everybody who tuned in last week, we had some technical issues. We're so sorry, but at the same time, so very grateful to RJ and his team for coming back this week uh, and doing a reshoot with us because I think this content is so valuable. Everybody always asks, like, is white toner printing even profitable? And I, I think that's a great question for you, RJ. I mean, you could definitely speak to that. Like, is it actually profitable? Oh, one, 100%. Because, you know, with the Creo white toner printers, you know, we want short to medium runs, one or a hundred colors. It, it really does not matter. Uh, yeah. Because we know kind of what we've been talking about, but that local screen printer is not, they do not want the short runs. Uh, that customer that does vinyl, you know, when you start getting the four, five, six colors, it's just going to take them too long to produce those jobs. Um, and so when doing the Creo, we're talking about custom T-shirts. We're talking about short runs. So an average customer of ours is going to charge anywhere from 20 to $30 per shirt. For my job today, for example, this is only going to cost me or it's only costing me about $2.20 to produce each transfer. So let's just put on, add on $2 for the t-shirt. So all in, all in, we're talking about $4 plus my yeah. time. And, and I'm going to be charging $25 per shirt. So if you think about 10 t-shirts, uh, an average return on investment of $19 per shirt, you know, that's high, high margins and a lot of margin dollars. Dude, that is some good stuff. So you guys actually have a profit calculator that I think we're going to bring up right now. This, okay, if you guys want to know how much Creo loves you, this is how much they love you. All right, can you talk to us about the profit calculator? Yeah, the profit calculator is really cool, um, especially for those customers that, you know, not everyone has $8,000 to, to buy a printer. So the, the customers, you know, that, that are financing these uh, and they do have monthly payments, uh, this tool right here is going to be a lifesaver because it's kind of going to give you, you know, how, how much do you want to work? Um, or at the end of the day, uh, how much money do you, do you want to make? So it's set up to, for the customer to put in, you know, how many t-shirts a week can, or do I want to make? Uh, and then what am I going to be charging per t-shirt? Uh, you know, we know everywhere is going to be different and 
you know, a t-shirt in Boise, Idaho is not going to be the same price as a t-shirt in Miami, Florida. Um, but gives you a rough estimation on, you know, how much money, and this is all profit, how much money per week you can make, per month and per year you can make, and then how long per week you actually have to work. So for this example, you know, we put it in there, uh, I think it's an hour and 67, uh, like 1.67 hours. So almost two hours all in. Uh, you can see that since I had two designs on one sheet, that I'm cutting that in half. And actually, we're going to get this job done in roughly about 40 minutes uh, instead yeah. of the two hours. So, um, you know, we kind of rely or lean heavily on the conservative side for some of these numbers. Um, but, you know, for an average... Uh, monthly payment for a Creo 8432, you're talking about $200, $300. And so by just just making 10 t-shirts per week, you'll be able to see your monthly uh, estimated profit uh, much higher than that. So for that side hustle or customer that's just doing this on the side or you know wants that little extra revenue, uh, this is a great product for you. Nice, dude. I love it. I, I love it because profit, like there's the technical aspect of it, like, how do I heat press this? How do I print this? But then there's the other aspect, which not a lot of companies are willing to venture into, which is like, how much money can I make with this? How can I, how can I do that? And so I know here at Heat Press Nation, we're trying our best to create content that shares like different products. Like we'll bring on like different t-shirts. The other week we did like a, a sports episode to show you how to, you know, advertise local, like what products you could do for your local sports teams and uh, and I love how Creo has the profit calculator because it really does put real life numbers on this system to make sure that it's the best fit for you and for your business. Uh, so I really love that here. I uh, got some other questions here. Actually, so Peggy asked a question and I think she, I don't know if she asked it right after or right before you mentioned it, but she's asking how much is the paper for both? Yeah, so, no, great question. So for this paper specifically, uh, Forever Laser Dark, um, real quick. I, so we're starting to get into the taking it off the print. Wait, so you, you finished? See, the fine, so you fine already? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a Mr. Interrupter over here. Wait, you already finished pressing all the ten the first press? Yes, yes, I did. So Dude, we're that is so fast. We are on to to taking it off the garment. Uh, and if you saw in that little video right there, you saw that it was a little shiny. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to use a T-seal product, which actually is going to embed all of the toners inside of the fibers of the T-shirt. So at the beginning, we were talking about how long do they last on the shirt. You know, we can get the 30 to 50 washes um, you know, that we said it will last for. So it's just this one final step that really does a good job of, of not only sealing all the colors in, but it gives you that nice matte finish with yes. all, all that on it. Oh, dude, I love it. Yeah, everybody wants the matte finish. I guess glossy was cool like back in like 2005. Everybody wants the, the matte finish now. Oh, man. So that right. T-seal, that's, that's like an extra. I know that's coming. I believe it's coming soon to Heat Press Nation. Be available soon at heatpressnation.com. But that T-seal, so it's like, a, it's like a cover sheet. So no parchment paper, right? No parchment paper uh, and this one okay. sheet is reusable up to 500 times. So nice. you know, it's not a, just a one and done type sheet. This is going to be something that you'll be able to use over and over and over again. Uh, but I do not want to forget to answer the question. So for oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Forever Later Dark, uh, uh, the 11 by 17 is going to go for around $4.50 uh, per A and B sheet. Uh, but since I had two logos on one sheet of paper, my average cost is just about over $2 per logo. Nice. And by, when he says four, four fifty for the A and B sheet, that's a pair. So it's, if you want to think about this, it's four fifty per transfer. So you don't have to, we get this question a lot on the phone over here. You're not buying a pack of A and a pack of B separately. It's, they all come together. The, the A and B together is per transfer 450. But like you said, you could split it up into multiple pieces, which that's that's the good thinking right there. You don't want to waste a big 11 right. by 17 inch sheet on a little yeah, <laughs> on that pocket logo. 
Right, pocket logo, you know, we want you to put as many logos as you can on the sheet uh, so you can save a lot of money. So, you know, if, if I'm doing this t-shirt job and it's a bunch of left chest logos, well, I can get sometimes 15 to 20 logos on one sheet and it's gonna make mm -hmm. my cost per print or per cost per logo about 15 to 20 cents. So that's really how you are going to save a lot of time and save a lot of money. Right, and then of course people, I mean, you should be charging your customers according to the print size. You don't want to charge them the same thing for a chest logo that you charge for a full, you know, for a full sheet. Yeah, and then I would say, you know, a lot of questions I get asked is like, hey, can you sell transfers? And the, and the answer is absolutely. You know, once you, you know, you, like if you were using this Forever Laser Dark Paper, you know, once you add that adhesive, you can then sell that transfer. So nice. since I put two transfers on one sheet, I can either sell each individual transfer for about eight dollars, or I can sell the whole sheet for ten to fifteen dollars, uh, just depending on what that customer wants. But once I add that adhesive, you absolutely can sell that transfer. Uh, we have customers that are doing it and making a really, really good living off of it. Nice, I love it. Now this is not T-shirt related, but I feel like it's worth mentioning that with your Creo white toner laser printer. You can also customize hard surfaces. Now I know we've done videos on that, but uh, RJ, yeah, like, how do, like, what, what are your thoughts on like customizing hard surfaces? Yeah, honestly, it's what really differentiates the product. You know, we were talking about margins with T-shirts. You know, there's good margins in the shirts, uh, customized shirts, but a lot of the margin is going to be in the blanks. You know, whether you're doing ceramics, you're doing wood, metal, acrylic. Uh, it really is up to, to kind of what your customer wants. Uh, but to your point, yeah, you are not limited to garments. You know, anything that can fit in a heat press, you'll be able to press onto. And then anything that can't fit in the heat press, we have water slide paper uh, that'll be able to decorate it. So, uh, uh, you know, we have tattoo paper where let's just say you're a bachelorette party um, and you want to put the groom you know, all over your arms or, you know, whatnot, <laughs> wear it to the yeah. bachelorette party. Well, we can decorate and we can create custom tattoos. So uh, it's definitely a product to where, you know, don't stay in the box. Think outside the box uh, yeah. when using a product like this. Yeah, I love that that mug and that acrylic uh, piece you just showed right now. They're both dark colored, yeah. which I love sublimation. Dude, I'm the biggest fan of sublimation, but I totally recognize it has its limitations uh, being the color of items that you could customize. And so what I really love about white toner is that that color limitation is gone. You don't, you're not stuck with white t-shirts. You're not stuck with white mugs, which is really, really 100%. cool. 100%. Go to Hobby Lobby, go to the dollar store, you know, to get your blanks. And uh, at the end of the day, as long as they fit in a heat press, you are good to go. I love it. Ashley's asking, does the software allow you to gain images automatically? Great question, and the answer is yes, and it is super easy to do so. Um, you know, normally all you gotta do uh, is load in your image, and then you can either click and drag and shrink it to the size or manually type in, you know, three by three. And then all you gotta do in the RIP software is hit copies, and it makes one copy for you, and then you just click and drag uh, horizontally and vertically, and it'll auto fill the whole page. Super easy nice. to do, saves you a lot, a lot of time. Yeah, no more clicking, copy, and paste 500 times in Photoshop. I love it. <laughs> right. Excellent. So, I, just so you guys know, I mean, we are just cranking these away. Yes. What number is that? This is, oh man, we're getting Perfect. towards the end. This might be eight. Oh, nice. Dude. Again, I cannot like stress enough. Now, for those of you guys who've never made a t-shirt before, especially if you've never had to cut and weed a t-shirt before, this might not be that impressive to you. It's okay, I forgive you. For the rest of us who have had to cut and weed hundreds of shirts in our careers, like this is mind blowing, it's thoroughly mind blowing. And you know what's also interesting is that this is actually faster than DTG. I know a lot of customers say, well, how does this compare to DTG? This is faster than DTG because there's no pre-treat. With DTG, you gotta pre-treat the shirt, heat press it, 
put it in the printer, which takes a couple minutes depending on how many colors you got. After you print it, you gotta press it again. Uh, and every step along the way, oh, sorry, after you print it, you gotta cure it, then press it. And all those steps, they kind of add up to where if we had to do 10 DTG shirts, I'm not a DTG expert, um, but I am of the understanding you're getting into the three to six minute range per shirt. Whereas here, we're in like the, maybe like two minute range per shirt, two to three. I know we're kind of talking through our process, so it's adding time, but really like this is the fastest way. This is the fastest way to customize t-shirts. Yeah, 100%. I mean, compared to DTG, this is gonna be a nice, cost-effective way to decorate garments. But, you know, with DTG, depending on the machine that you have, you know, it's difficult or impossible to actually decorate a polyester shirt. So yes. um, with this, oh, it does not matter if it's polyester or cotton, uh, we're gonna be able to decorate that t-shirt the same way. So, and then obviously with the specialty products like the hard surface, the tattoos, you know, that would be impossible to do with the director garment machine. So very versatile uh, and the amount of products that you can decorate with this machine, uh, small footprint, you know, you can take this on the go you are not limited to just one specific location. You know, we have customers that go to sporting events, you know, whatever it might be, and take the printer on the go and do on-demand printing. Uh, and that's when you can charge a lot of money doing so. Um, you know, I do want to point out that we are done what? with our last- Dude, ladies and gentlemen, let's give RJ a hand clap. I don't care if you're at home on the toilet. Like that deserves a hand. That is so fast. Again. 10 t-shirts, full color graphics onto dark cotton garments. Like, that's like the holy grail of the kind of t-shirt that you wanna be customizing. Uh, and he knocked out 10 live, just for all of us here online. Dude, that's incredible, man. Yeah. As you guys can see, I mean, there's nothing I could hide. You know, we did everything in front of you. So, you know, I know we, did not, we haven't talked about this yet, Jared, but this is such an important, you know, aspect of this whole uh, process and that is going to be your heat press. Yes. Uh, you know, your heat press is going to be just as important as investing in your printer. So that's why you do not want to buy an $8,000 printer and get a $200 heat press <laughs> off of Amazon. You know, that is, exactly. those two do not go together. You know, Mercedes, you want the, the premium, uh, gas, you know, the heat press is just going to be as important as the printer. So obviously with the nice nice quality uh you know hbn series swing away heat press or you know any of the swing away heat presses you know we're going to guarantee that we're going to have you know consistent pressure and then consistent heat uh and we're talking ex you know especially when we're doing the marrying process and we're adding that adhesive you know yeah. i want to make sure i have the same amount of pressure in the front as the back so i'm not missing any fine details um and i'm getting all my adhesive to stick where it should so I do want to point that out, that this heat press or any heat press, when you are investing in a white toner printer, is going to be just as important. Dude, could not have said it better. I'm going to dive in to the questions. I know we've been answering a lot of questions along the way, but if you have any questions that you want to ask me or RJ, again, RJ from Creo, makers of the Creo white toner uh, laser printer. The, this is the Creo 8432WDT. If you have any questions and you're watching us live right now, do me a favor, drop them in the comments below, whether you're on Insta, uh, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. And even if you're watching the replay of this video, you could still comment below because we are still actively monitoring all these videos, all of our videos, whether it's this one or a past episode. Uh, and we're here, we're ready to take your questions. So I'm gonna dive in, I'm gonna find you some good ones here. Um, Ashley's asking a great question, and I think I know the answer. So I'm going to give my answer, and then I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Ashley says, is there a list of products that could be made with this? I want to say technically no, only because there are so many products, it would be hard to squeeze them all into a single list. But I don't know. Do you guys have a list <laughs> over there, RJ? Uh, you know, there's, there's not a, a list that says you can decorate this, this, and this. Yeah. We do go on createwithcreo.com's website. We do go over a lot of the application that can be done. Uh, but to Jared's point, I mean, anything, like I said, that can fit in a heat press, but those items that cannot or they're heat sensitive items. Mm -hmm. You know, we have water slide paper, we have tattoo paper, 
or you can create custom stickers or decals. So we can always apply something and decorate something. So to Jared's point, it is almost unlimited of what you can decorate. Nice. Uh, another question. I'm going to take. I feel, I'm going to take a little stab at this one. But again, RJ, you you chime in. Elizabeth is asking. I have heard the printed design does not last after a few washes. Is this true? And to that, I say it's very likely an inferior product or user error in the heat press process. That's typically why these don't last. Because um, I mean, as I, I have samples at home that I've washed already. I've only done like I'm at about like tw in the 20 to 25 range, and they're still looking pretty good. And that's because, with all humbleness. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I don't know, RJ, what, what would you have to say to somebody who, who thinks that this might not last good on the garment? Yeah, I, I think you kind of hit on the head. It's, it really dives into, look, there are papers on the market that are meant for one-time use. You know, mm -hmm. Susie's birthday party, maybe it's a family reunion, I'm going on a cruise, whatever it may be. Uh, but if you're using a high-quality paper and if you're, you know, applying it with the high-quality press at the right settings and then using you know, this T-seal sheet and sealing it into the garment for 30 seconds, I promise you, your, your customers can throw that T-shirt in the wash, dry it, you know, and it's going to last and they will come back. I mean, we have plenty of testimonies from customers that have taken their business, you know, from A to Z and grown their business, you know, tremendously by just investing in one single printer. So uh, I can promise you this is a proven technology uh, you know, we have a lot of, and a lot of printers in the field and a lot of successful customers. So, uh, there's always, uh, you know, a learning curve to this, but if you are doing it the right way, the t-shirts will last. I love it. I love it. Um, uh, this is a question I might take. So Altar is asking, how does Caesar easy subly paper compare? Caesar easy subly is a printable heat transfer vinyl. So that's going to have to get passed through a vinyl cutter after you print it, before you press it. There's extra steps there. As you guys saw in the video, and if you didn't get a chance to watch this video, please check out the replay. Because as RJ showed us, you print it, you do the AB press together, and there's no cutting or weeding at all. Super quick, super easy. And this material is gonna be thinner than the Easy Subly. If you're asking me personally, I would take these transfers over Easy Subly. Not talking bad about Easy Subly, but I would take, I would prefer these transfers uh, any day. I really do like these at all. Uh, at all. <laughs> I really do like these. I don't know why I added at all. <laughs> I mean, all righty, let's see. To your point, you know, if you don't mind me chirping in a little oh, bit, yes. Is that oh, I yes. Think, you know, that perfect marriage is going to be that sublimation and, you know, the Creo white toner because at that point, you can really hit all aspects of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you can use that sublimation for the jerseys, uh, for the, the drink wear, especially on a, on a larger. A more scalable basis and then when you do want your your cotton t-shirts or your dark polyester shirts you don't have to worry about the cutting and the weeding you were just talking about we'll just use the creole white toner to do those so Boom. we're never going to say creole takeover sublimation uh we're we're a complementary product to whether you're doing vinyl sublimation screen printing even direct to garment we are going to help grow your business yes yes sir i love it uh just fun comment, not really a question, but Deborah says, I purchased my Creo from HPN last year. I absolutely love it. And Creo support is awesome. Dude, love to hear it. <laughs> love to hear that. And I'll give you your $20 after this live. <laughs> uh, do we have any other questions here? I feel like we answered a lot during the live. And then also, I do see that Ronnie and then our friends over at Creo have been super active in the comments, just answering all the questions. So I absolutely love it. So great. You know, a big thing I do want to talk, uh, say, Jared, is that, mm -hmm. you know, we just did a great demonstration and showed you a realistic job for the customers. Mm -hmm. But these products are in stock. You know, we don't want to get your hopes up, get you excited about something. And then, hey, yes. you got to wait four to six months. It's like, you know, the Creo 8432s are in stock. Key Press Nation has them in stock, uh, which is very exciting because with these day and age, you know, you don't know what's going to be in stock or what's stuck outside at the port. So I do yes. want to just point out that, you know, Key Press Nation is fully stocked uh, if you are looking to invest in the Creo 8432. Yeah. And if you do have questions, by the way, you can head on over to support.heat. Wait, what is it? 
Yeah, support.heatpressnation.com. Am I remembering that right? <laughs> or you can go to, oh, I know what it is, heat.press slash support. I have so many uh, of these links. There it is on screen, heat.press slash support. If you want to talk to a representative here at Heat Press Nation, uh, you want to ask questions about these white toner printers, you have additional questions before you make your purchase, or maybe you have one, but you have a cheap heat press and you're ready to get a good heat press, you can give us a call, 800 215 Once again, 800 215 And if you want links to everything that you're seeing on screen right now uh, and that you've seen throughout this process, you can head on over to heat.press slash live. It is right there, I think. I hope it's right there. Otherwise, I'm pointing to nothing. Um, heat.press slash live. You're going to see links to everything. You're going to see links to this video that you're watching right now. This video will be available for replay. So if there's some stuff that you missed, you can always go back and watch it. It should be uploaded immediately after we end, which is super exciting. Or if not immediately, maybe give us a few minutes to edit out um, maybe some of my mess ups, hopefully. <laughs> That's going to do it for our Q&A. RJ, dude, you've been an absolute treat. I want to thank you so, so much for coming out again this week because I really feel like this information has helped somebody. I hope it's helped you know, somebody out there like want to start their business, give them insight, give them info to so be able to make those big moves. Do you have any like closing info, tips, anything you want to share with the people? No, I mean, I obviously I appreciate being here again. It's super fun. Always great time hanging out with you, Jared. Uh, to your point. Yeah. I mean, you know, whether you're doing vinyl, you know, sublimation, you want to take that business to the next level, but not having to worry about babysitting a product. You know, I, I think a lot of customers yeah. like the idea of some of this other technology. Uh, but maybe they don't have the demand for it. Uh, and what happens is it sits there and they can't use it. And then maybe a, a print head will get clogged or something like that. And I just want you guys to know with the Creo product and this Creo experience, you know, you, you don't be, has, you know, don't hesitate to either reach out for help, but take advantage of all the free content that we put out there for you. Yes. We're not charged for. So, you know, if you do, you are making that leap to get a Creo printer, just know, you know, both he press nation and Creo. Uh, are going to be there along the way to help. Dude, I love it. Thank you guys once again. Big shout out not only to RJ, but to his crew uh, over there. Big shout out to our crew over here at Heat Press Station for getting all this together. And most of all, we want to thank you guys for joining us. Do me a favor if you're watching on YouTube right now, click that subscribe button, subscribe to our channel. We have lots of great content coming out every week. If you're on Facebook, you could like our Facebook group. We even have, oh, sorry, you could like our Facebook page. And we even have a Facebook group at uh, heat.press slash FB group. It'll take you right on over to our Facebook group where you can join lots of Creo users, lots of white toner users, and honestly, heat pressers of all shapes and sizes. I love, absolutely love that online community. And then, of course, don't forget, check out Creos. Uh, they're on Facebook. Where you guys are at, uh, what, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram? Definitely, yeah. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Check out our TikTok page. We got a lot of, lot of cool content. There, uh, to give you examples of, of how fun it is to use, but what you can create. So, uh, yes, go check us out on the social media pages. Yes, and then also create with Creo. Am I getting that right? Create with Creo.com. Create with Creo.com. Uh, and it. if you want to ask us any questions, you can fill out the contact us. Uh, just let us know. Hey, we were on the Heat Press Nation YouTube live. Just have some questions, and a representative will reach out to help you as well. Fantastic. Well, again, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you to RJ and crew. And I think that's going to do it for us here at Heat Press Nation. Once again, I'm Jared with Heat Press Nation. Thank you to RJ and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you around.